interesting. All interesting. I gotta use my phone. Okay? Oh, yeah. Lord God the Father, I just ask you to bless this time, Lord. Let's love the Lord Jesus. Lord God, there's this interest, Lord, in the Bible study and furthering, Lord. I just put that to you. But right now, Lord God, through the Gospel of John, we're looking at you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I would love for this meeting to be broken up by you, calling through the trump. And Lord, you finish it this by us being with you. But Lord, and to them, help me to be faithful with your word, Lord God. Help me to speak only that which is correct and right. Yes, and that which not, that my sins, Lord God, I put under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right, John chapter 1. Oh, it's going to be too hot there. Oh, it's going to be too hot. So, deep in. I bet you don't do this anyway. So, we got a great AC unit here. John chapter 1. We're down to verse 11. 51 verses in this chapter. Wow. We're not even halfway here. But look at all that we learned. He came, that's Jesus, came unto his own. That's the word. That's the light. That's God. That's Jesus. That's the creator. Anything that I missed that we've missed so far. He came, he, uh, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. Now, just, we're going to look at much. Despite what the pictures have to say, despite what the drawing and the artists have to say, let's get it right out right now. Jesus Christ is Jewish. He's not colored. I was in a church where the stained glass windows have Jesus black, and it's the disciples all black. You're wrong. I have seen Hollywood movies, very limited, but I've seen some Hollywood movies where Jesus is American white. That's also a lie. He's brown. The Bible points to the fact that with Scripture, he has black hair. He has white teeth. There are some descriptions of Jesus, but they do not match. Hey, back. All right. Hey. Hi. Long time OC. Right next to you. Brenda, right? Yeah. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How you doing? Hey, Brenda. I'll pick up Next week you'll bring your Bible? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sounds good. There you go. Yeah. You can always listen. Good seeing you guys again. So, the pictures that you see of Jesus. And we, we were given an opportunity. We, we, someone gave us some free Bibles. And you go through there, you'll see some pictures of Jesus. That's not him. Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Yeah. So... I'm here to tell you, well, they can probably hear me. I've got a nice little voice. Uh, I'm going to safely assume by 95%, many Christians, when the rapture happens, those that are saved, the rapture happens, when they see Jesus, they will be shocked. That's not what he looked like on television. That's not what he looked like in my Bible. That's not what he looked like in my, my church picture on the walls. So let's get off the very fact is he's Jewish. He came unto his own Jewish people. He was born of Mary. He was born. He was adopted by Joseph. So let's begin this trail of Jesus, Jewish. Matthew chapter one, verse one. Matthew one one. The trail of the Jewish Jesus. Now, what nationality has ever been the most hated of all the nationalities? Jewish. Jewish. Jesus himself said, marvel not if the world hates you. Oh, there he hates the Jew. So, Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, you got to practically hold it down with your, with your arms like this. I better be hot, I guess. Amen. The book of the generations of Jesus. The son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac. Isaac begat Jacob. Jacob begat Judas. That would be Judah. And Judas is the Greek form of Judah. Right. 
and his brethren. And Judas begat Perez. And when you go through the Old Testament study, and when you get down to verse number five, Solomon begat Boaz and Reka, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. Well, we know who that is. And Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David. And David the king begat Solomon. And then verse 7, Solomon begat Rehoboam, Rehoboam begat Abai, and those are the kings of Judah. Those are the men of Judah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the twelve tribes in Judah. For Jesus Christ is of Abraham, Jewish. Now Abraham had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. It's not Ishmael, it's not the Arabian, it's Isaac according to chapter 1. Jesus Christ has in him, born of Mary, Jewish family, Jewish blood, of a Jewish throne of David. So right there, take your pictures, rip them up, shred them up, get rid of them, get rid of your idea that Jesus is whatever your idea is. And Paul will speak about somewhere in the scriptures, like I said, somewhere in the scriptures. The language of heaven is Hebrew. I think, it's, I think that's, I forget where that's written. It's one of the epistles. Well, if the language in heaven is spoken about Hebrew and Jesus came on to his own, duh, where do you think? So, Genesis 49.10. Genesis 49.10. I like that. It says, two dad from all of us in the Bible. And the man that read this Bible, I know he read it, and he marked it. Genesis 49.10. We'll start in verse 8. And what we're doing today, we're, we're tracing right now, we're tracing Jesus Christ Jewish. I'm going to leave you without, a, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you're going to leave today. Whoever listens to these videos online, listens to their e-bugs or whatever they listen to, they're going to get the fact is that today, without a question, a shadow of a doubt, the Bible says Jesus is Jewish. Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. So verse 8, Judah, that was Judas in Matthew 1. It's the same man, it's just different spelling. Like you, if you were to go from English to Spanish or Spanish to English, there's different spellings. Like the Old Testament says Noah and then the New Testament no says Noah. No way. So this, <laughs> well, it's kind of funny that, you know, mm -hmm. Judas, that's one of the ones that betrayed. There's a man in, in, in the book of Acts, his name is Judas. Well, you're going to surname me. I don't want to be referenced to that name. So Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren... Well, who's Judah's brother? The Jew, the twelve other eleven tribes, shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. This is the line of Jesus Christ. This is prophecy. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion, as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Oh, that second advent will rouse him up. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. That's David's throne, even before David's throne. Nor a lawgiver between his feet unto Shiloh come. Boy, a lot of people will name their church Shiloh and then have another yeah. Jesus. <laughs> come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Binding the folk upon the vine, his ass is cold. Oh, gee, I wonder what that reference is to. Jesus coming into Jerusalem. Under the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. That's the second advent. His eyes shall be red with wine. That's the angry Jesus Christ. We spoke about Jesus Christ as a lion of the tribe of Judah returning. He's not coming back as that baby. No, he's not. He's coming back angry. His teeth white with milk. So that's Judah, that's the tribe, that's where Jesus Christ is from, Judah. And it's the prophecy of a king, the kingly line, the royal line. Now yet, 
above the cross of Jesus, the King of the Jews, but not the first advent. That's the second advent. He came first to be the Savior, then the King. But all the people that reject Him as Savior are going to get the wrath of the lion. And those that receive the Savior are going to get the gentleness of the lamb. And the Bible records, if you ever heard this verse, and the lamb shall lay down with the lion. They both shall eat straw. Well, there's both advents together in the millennium. But the first advent, as the lamb, he came as a sacrifice. When he comes back again, you're not going to put him in your arms. You're not going to give him a cross. He's going to put you in hell if you don't believe. He's going to destroy right. you. If you believe, if you're the Jew, the raiment of the Jews, he's going to come to comfort. If you help the Jews in the tribulation period, even if you don't know it, he's come for a comfort, for a savior for you. So that's Jesus Christ there. I think this says Jeremiah 23. Check that out. I got terrible handwriting. Jeremiah 23. Check it out. Now we go to the next verse. Windy. Praise the Lord in it. That's right. Cooking. Amen, brother. Alright, 23. Let's see. 23, 5, and 6. Let me take I got two stuff. Yeah, my pages are stuck. Alright, 23. 23, verse 5 and 6. Behold, the days come. Saith the Lord. Je that's Jehovah, God. So if God says it's going to come, guess what's going to happen? It's going to come. Amen. That I will raise up David, a righteous branch, and known as a capital B, that would be God, that would be Jesus. And a king, capital K, that would be Jesus, mm -hmm. shall reign and prosper. Well, Jeremiah are a liar because it ain't happening now. Because the Bible says, Behold, the day is come. It hasn't happened yet. Now you see where the confusion with the Messiah for the Jews were. Here comes Jesus on the ass of a cult into Jerusalem. He's going to conquer Rome and we're going to get our nation back. That's where they got it, right here. They had all right to say, Okay, Jesus, conquer the nation. And when he fed the 5,000, he left because they were going to make him, he knew they were going to make him king. That's the prophecy. But they misunderstood the two advents. They missed Isaiah 53, the suffering Messiah, before the reigning Messiah. Jesus Christ had fulfilled all the first advent. There's yet a second advent to come. So the righteous branch, a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment. Second advent. When he comes back. And justice in the earth. And you can't say that today. In his days, Judah, there's Judah, shall be saved. They're not saved today. If a Jewish person, whatever tribe he is of, you don't know, but whatever tribe, if he dies without Jesus Christ as his Savior, he will burn in hell just as much as a Gentile. Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. There's the division, north and south. And this is his name whereby he shall be called. The Lord our righteousness. That's not happening today. I know a husband and wife that went into Israel, into Jerusalem, and preached Jesus on the streets. They had their camera broken pieces. They had the microphone and their sound system ripped off them, torn away. They've had the police, uh, arrest, not arrest them, but force them out in Jerusalem, preaching Jesus today. I mean, this 2018, 2017. They're not calling Jesus the Lord our righteousness. This is yet future. Mm -hmm. But 
what I want you to see with that is David. I want you to see King. I want you to see Judah. I want you to see that Jewish nationality of Jesus Christ. He's always associated with Judah. He's always associated with Abraham and nobody else. So, Hebrews 7.14. Hebrews 7.14. Hebrews. That's an interesting. What Hebrews? <laughs> Hebrews. I'm redoing that course because I want to straighten some things out. I have. But Hebrews seven fourteen. We are primary, and we're going to see first and second advent. We're going to see that. We're going to see Christ as life, but I want us to see Christ as Jewish. For Hebrews 7, 14. For it is evident that our Lord, capital L, that's Jesus, sprang out of Judah, there's another spelling of it, of which tribe Moses spanked nothing concerning the priesthood. Now, Moses said, when he, in the law, he described the priest, Levite. There were no priests in the law that were of Judah. Judah had nothing to do with the tabernacle. Judah had nothing to do with the law, the sacrifices. Judah was supposed to bring his sacrifices, but he had nothing to do with them. But Jesus Christ came from Judah, which is of Jacob, which is of Isaac, which is of Abraham. Now, Acts 20, 28. And we're going to have a lot of scriptures running the way, but Acts 20, 28. And I'm going to say it tongue in cheek, but I'm being serious. Acts 20, 28. If you were to cut Jesus, would he bleed Jewish blood? The answer is no. That blood that Jesus shed from the Sanhedrin, the high priest and the council, to whatever blood that may have laid on that stone that they buried his body on, whatever was on that spear, water and blood, water and blood came out. Whatever was on those nails, the, the thorns, the cat of nine tails, the fists. Jesus is Jewish, but he did not have Jewish blood. Acts 20:28. 20, Take heed therefore unto yourself, to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseer, to feed the church of God. Oh, I can, I can stop on that one, but I'm not. Which he, Jesus, has purchased with his own blood. Christ shed his blood that we may be saved, we become part of the church. That says God. Is there ever a verse that you want to show a Jehovah Witness that Jesus is God? And you say to him, first of all, excuse me, did Jesus shed his blood on the cross? Yes, he did. All right. You take a Max 20, 20, it says God. It's God the subject. Do you see Jesus anywhere in that verse? Well, no, I see God. Which he, God, has purchased with his own blood. Jesus, Jewish, had God's blood in him. That is the virgin birth. Amen. No blood of Joseph. No blood of sinful man. In that womb was the blood of God. We read that a couple weeks ago. Not last week, a couple weeks ago. Now, if he would have had Joseph's blood, there would not be the case of God. And then he would be a sinner. The fact is that he had God's blood running through those veins and not Jewish blood. Guess what? makes him God. Now let's see the Jewish side of him. Luke chapter 1. And we're going to kind of, I don't know how much we're going to read Luke chapter 1, but it's a long verse. Luke chapter 1. In Luke chapter 1, and we'll pick up verse 26. reading the first advent, not Christmas. We've done this. This is just so great. So interesting. 
so wonderful. All the Word of God is wonderful and great. Okay, we have, we're going to come back to Luke 2. Okay, so Luke 1, 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a, unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, as Jewish, to a virgin disposed of man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. Oh, that name keeps coming up. David. King David. Jewish David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou, thou that art highly favored. Sometimes it's really hard to read. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast her mind what manner of salutation this shall be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Amen. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shalt bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Amen. Jehovah saves. He shall be great. He's great to me. He shall be called the Son, capital S, capital S, of the highest, capital H. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Is that David again? You know, how David keeps showing up. He shall reign over the house of Jacob. Matthew one, we saw Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, da, 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 da. David, Solomon, da, 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 and Jesus. You know, Jesus is the only man who could ever trace his genealogy. We'll see that in a moment. Back to Adam, only man. Uh, son of the highest, the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. That hasn't happened yet, so prophecy. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing, which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. There's the blood of God. Because in the womb, a baby has the blood. The nationality comes from the, 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 the father. The sex comes from the father. Joseph had nothing to do with this. The blood that is going to be going through Jesus inside Mary is God's blood. But he's born of Mary. Mary's Jewish. She comes from a Jewish family. She's lineage from David too. Um, David we're gonna look at that. Yep, yeah, we're gonna look at that in a moment. Matthew two two again. They were there, but we gotta get all this because the world and churches out there, and you can ask Tracy, they'll teach contrary to the Bible in all kinds of ways. Not just that Jesus was colored black, white, whatever he was. The Bible will say something and churches will say something else and then they'll get mad at you because you say what the Bible says. So verse 2, Matthew 2, 2, saying, well, verse 1, Now when Jesus, that's, the, that's who we're talking about, was born in Bethlehem, that's a Jewish city of David, of Judah, there's Judah, that's Judah of I got Jacob, Isaac and Abraham. I'm trying to write it backwards. In the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. That's Israel's capital. Saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? So, we got a lineage of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, run the course. We've got a throne of King David, which gave birth to a son, Solomon. He became king. Rehoboam, and then we got the rest of the kings down the line. There is no shadow of a doubt of who Jesus is. Unless you watch a movie. I don't watch those movies no more. I have nothing to do with Oh, come to our church. We're going to see a life of Jesus. I'll say, is it a white Jesus or is it a brown Jesus? Because I don't take white. And they'll look at you like, what are you talking about? 
my Jesus is brown. How dare someone even acting proclaim to be and say they are Jesus? Do you realize how sacred that is? And when you get your little kitties in church, well, pretend to be Joseph. You know how respectable and honorable Joseph was? He sat in a man's house and the man said, you take care of it all. Man, God is with you. I am not going to question you. He gets put in jail. And the jailer said, you are in charge of it all. Boom. There are great characters in the Bible that people pretend to be. I wouldn't ever want to be the charge to say I'm Jesus. First of all, I'm not the right color. Second of all, I don't have God's blood running through my veins. I'm a sinner. If I ever said I was Jesus for entertainment or whatever purpose, you get rid of me. You lock me up. Because I'm dangerous. So, that's Matthew 2, 2. Deuteronomy 17, 5. Deuteronomy, this is the law. And the Jews are were under the law unless they're saved. But if they're not saved, they're still under the law. I've just lost some people saying that. If they're not saved, if they're not saved, they're still under the law, which they can't keep. You know why a Jewish man under the law can't go to heaven today? There's no place to bring his offering. There's no temple. He needs Jesus. That's right. Because Jesus is the Lamb of God. So Deuteronomy 17, 15. Deuteronomy 17, 15. You ready for this law? You know Jesus obeyed the law 100%? You know God obeyed the law that He set forth? Verse 15. Then thou shalt in any wise set Him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Jesus Christ is chosen. If you're going to put a king over your nation, here you go. One from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. He came unto his own, his own received him not. Thou shalt, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Didn't we just read many places, say, King of the Jews, he shall have the throne of David. According to the law which God is obligated to follow, is in order to have a king of the Jews, he has to be Jewish. How's that? Is that, very, is that hard to understand? No. Then why are Christian people making movies today and having Jesus portrayed as non-Jewish? Well, we're just pret pretending. Well, you're lying. That's what you're doing. It's called a lie. According to the law, Jesus has to be Jewish. Matthew 2.1 now, Matthew is a book you run to. I don't run to it often. Matthew 2, 2, 1. Matthew is a book you run to for Jewish interpretation. I know that's a big word. I so I'd say a word like that. Of Jesus and Jewishness. 2, 1. We're going to read it again. When you want the Jewish side and not the church side, you go to Matthew. Too many people in the, in the church will run to Matthew. Matthew's written to Jews. It says the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. That's Jewish. Now 2 1. Now when Jesus again was born in Bethlehem in Judea, look at the Jewish flavor. In the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Now Micah 5 2. That's in the Old Testament, Micah. hard to find. Right after Jonah. Oh, he did the same thing I do. He writes names in here for prayers. Micah 5-2. I'm there, but I got it. You think, wow, we're going to book right there. Yeah, we're going to go all kinds of books where the Lord comes. Oh. Micah 5 2, this is a prophecy. Take your 
your time. No, there's no problem. Micah 5 2. You found Micah today. So when Micah comes so when Michael comes well, when Micah comes up to you in heaven, say, Hey, I know where you are. You're in my Bible. Micah 5 2. But thou Bethlehem Ethra, there's two Bethlehems, this points out which one to do. The thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me, that is to be ruler of Israel, whose going forth have been from of old and ever and from everlasting. There's the Jewish blood of Jesus, there's the throne of Jesus over the children of Israel. He came unto his own, but his own received him not. So, the rest of the New Testament is Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, 39. In Luke chapter 2, 39, is the genealogy of Jesus through Mary. This is Mary's family. And we're going to look at 2.39 and we're going to go to 3. three. But 2.39, we want 2.39. Because I want you to see, I don't want you to see Jewish again. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, let me show you the law that said that that king had to be Jewish. Mary and Joseph obeyed the law. All things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew, Jesus, and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, the grace of God was upon him. And his parents went to Jerusalem every year, to the Feast of Passover. So, everything Jewish. He's Jewish unto his own. He's brought up in the Jewish ways. He's obeying the Jewish law. He's got to be Amen. Jewish. Because if he wasn't, there is a cause in the Bible that if you were not Jewish, but if you wanted to obey like the, uh, the Queen of Sheba, you were called a stranger. I don't think God would be calling Jesus a stranger when the aspect is he's following all the Jewish roots, all the Jewish rites, and all the Jewish laws. He has to be Jewish. Uh, verse 46, same chapter. Verse 45, 245. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. They lost Jesus. Bad parents. <laughs> and it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple. Of all places, one Jesus. Sitting in the midst of the doctors. Those are the scholars, those are the priests, those are the big shots. Both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at the understanding of his answers. And when, he, when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said, Son, why hast thou, why hast thou thus dwelt with us? Behold thy father, being nice, not his father. Now he's going to correct Mary. Watch. Behold thy father and I had sought thee salary. They said, how is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? Oh, Jesus the carpenter of Joseph. No, he said, that's not my father. I'm right where my father is, at the temple. At 12 years old. At 12 years old. He's not doing carpentry. I'm not doing carpentry. I'm at the temple. So, he's a priest. He's God. He's at the temple. He's at the feast. He's born of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Uh, what nationality is Jesus? Jewish. And some people will see this and they'll be like, don't believe it. All right, John. Let's see, man. Two, four, yeah, we did. John four thirty one. 
John 4.31. John 4.31. And the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he'll tell us of all things. And Jesus said unto her, I am, I that speak unto thee, and me. So if anybody ever tells you that Jesus never said he's God, the Messiah, there's that verse. I don't know what 31 is. That's, a, that's an error. See, I make mistakes. I can't be good. <laughs> 34. Uh, I'm just trying to look it up possibly. That's a scribal error. Chapter 20, John 20, 16. John 20, verse 16. Okay. Let's ask Mary. You may look at this verse and say, you made another error. No, I didn't. Not this time. Last time I did. Jesus says unto Mary, she turned herself and said unto whom? Father. No, not Catholic. Rabboni. Which is to say, Master. All right, you just learned a Hebrew word today. Rabboni. What's that? Master. So when you call somebody Rabbi, what do you call it? Master. Who do you... Yeah, they are. Who do you think you would call your... Which people would call their... Like the priest. But which group of people would call their religious leader rabbi? Jewish. Mary, hey, she's Jewish. She took one look at him, not knowing he's Jesus. She thinks she's the gardener. No, this is, this is Mary Magdalene. This is another oh, Mary. She says Rabboni gives him a Jewish, a, a Jewish title. Because guess what? He looks Jewish. He is Jewish. She wouldn't call him father. That's white. So that, that's another statement there. In John 3, 2. Nicodemus is a well-respected man. He's a man that gets saved. He obeys God. He said there was a man of the Pharisees. That's the ones that hated him, but not Nicodemus. Named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabboni. Rabbi. Well, that's mean Rabboni. Rabbi. He called him a Jewish title. Most of the Pharisees did not even, they thought Jesus, many other things, but. So there's that Judas, Jewish, I keep saying Judas, Jewish title. Now, Revelation 5.5. 5. Revelation 5.5. 5. Like I said, we're breaking these studies down by topics. Today is, Jesus is not God. He is God, but that's not this. 
He's Jewish. So where have we gone? We've gone from Jesus is the Word, Jesus is the Creator, Jesus is God, Jesus is the... Look, look at everything, the prosperity, where we're going, and we're learning more about Jesus. So when the rapture happens, folks, and we get in the clouds and we meet together in the clouds and say, Hi, how you doing? Guess what's going to happen? We're going to see Jesus next. I know you taught that. That's what the Bible says. Everything's happening. And then when we see Jesus, it won't be a big shock. Because he still has the nail prints in his hand. How many Christians know that? The Jesus we're going to meet by God in the sky is going to frighten many Christians. They had studied. Uh, Revelation 5.5. 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, there's the second one, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals. Now, and verse 6. And I behold, and lo, the midst of the throne and of the four beasts. I want to see that. Besides Jesus, I want to see that beast. In the midst of the elders stood a lamb, capital L. That's God. That's Jesus. Behold, the lamb of... We'll, we'll come to that when we get to further in John 1. Mm -hmm. But in John 1, John the Baptist says, Behold, the lamb of God. So now we know Jesus is... <laughs> The lion of the tribe of Judah, he's the root and going to be sitting on David's throne. He's of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He's Jewish. He's also the Lamb of God. Stood as a lamb that had been slain. That's the first answer. So he has to be somebody who was slain, coming back to be king. He has to be a lamb, and he has to be a lion, but not at the same time. So, Judah... David, God, because they're in heaven, the Lamb, that all points to one person and cannot be anybody else. Now, John 18, 35. John 18, 35. John 18.35 Pilate answered, this is a Roman citizen, this is a Roman official, this is a Roman leader, this is a Roman judge. It would be documented, not only in the Gospel of John, but this would be documented in the Roman files. Pilate answered, am I a Jew? No, he's not. A little sarcasm there. Thy own nation and the chief priest. What nation has chief priest? Jewish. Have delivered thee unto me. Pilate said right there, Hey Jew, your own people brought me to you. Am I a Jew? Am I the one that brought you here? No, those Jews, your nation brought them here. Scripture, Scripture, one last place. John 4, 9. Last place. And this will end with this verse right here. We'll leave it on a shadow of a doubt. I know probably simple it was. But what we're learning right now, many Christians don't know and don't believe. If you were to go to a Christian organization, I say that tongue-in-cheek, called the KKK, and tell them, they're Christians, they burn crosses, I don't know why, and say, listen to me, here's this video from this man, and what he teaches on this video, on the 3rd of October, he teaches that Jesus Christ is Jewish. They would not believe it. They would not receive it because they are the white supremacy. Only the white man rules. And yet I've shown you the Holy Bible. Now, one last place, the greatest place. John 4, 5. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria. That's half Jew, half Greek. 
They're half Jewish, they're half Gentile. Which is called Sychar, near to a parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. You can find that in Genesis uh, 4 9. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied of his journey, sat on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. Then cometh a woman of Samaria, she's a half Jew, to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me water to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy me. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou being a Jew? She took one look at him and said, You're Jewish. Looked at his skin, looked at his hair, looked at maybe his nose. He says, You're not Samaritan. You're not half breed. You're not colored. You're not white. You're Jewish. How's that? And you will find people, give them that verse, give them this whole thing that we learned today, and they will still doubt it. They will still not believe it. And there will be many Christians when the rapture happens, Jesus is going to scare them. Because they have no idea who he is. So when you see those pictures, that's why I avoid the Bibles with pictures. Those pictures don't match what we just read. Now you want to have fun if you've got an internet capability? Go online, go Google, go search Jesus at the well, John chapter 4, and see the pictures that come up. They're all white. Well, I'm just saying, they're all white. Nothing. That defies the Bible. But we want to be right with the Bible. So. Not much in that message, but it's there. Lord God the Father, thank you for this time, Lord, to realize the truth about you. Whatever man may want to believe, whatever man may disregard, I know I have a Jewish Savior. I have a Savior that is of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If I had a Savior of Ishmael, I'm dying going to hell. If I have a Savior that's of the tribe of Levi, I am dying and going to hell. If I have a Gentile Savior, I am dying and going to hell. And yet, I have a Savior that comes from the tribe of Judah that will one day take the throne of David and forever and ever rest upon that throne and forever to be your people, the, the people of Israel. And Lord, I pray for the peace of Israel. Lord, I pray for the money that we've given to the missionaries there that Jews will be saved. Lord, any, any man that's working with Jews for them to be saved today, by a King James Bible, by the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for them. I pray you help them. And Lord, for Jesus' sake, we pray. Amen. Yeah.